Hello fans of European coins. We got a neat three pence coin right here. This is a cool design. You might not have seen this design before. This one's a little bit more common. But this one right here is dated 1956, a little bit later than that 1943 that we were just looking at before. Before I get into the design of this coin, I want to talk to you about Decimal Day. Uh, so to know the value of this coin, you have to know how the monetary system worked prior to Decimal Day in 1971. So Decimal Day in 1971, there were 240 pence in one pound, shir sh one pound sh sterling, excuse me, uh, 12 pence made a shilling and 20 shillings made a pound. Uh, values less than a pound were usually written in terms of shillings and pence. For example, 42 pence would be three, shil three shillings and six pence, written as 3-6, pronounced three and six. Uh, values less than a shilling were simply written in terms of pence. For example, uh, eight pence would be 8D. Now, there were some silver uh, three shilling coins. Those all came out prior to 1947. Uh, there were a 92.5% silver coin that was made from 1816 to, 18, to 1919. And then from 1920 until 1946, there was actually a 50% silver coin. Then they switched over to nickel brass, uh, which is the current metal content that we've got right here, which is 79% copper, 20% zinc, and 1% nickel. The copper, you can really see its color, has a very similar color to the United States penny, uh, given that it's copper content. So the reverse image, which you're looking at right here, uh, features the Tudor Portilius, uh, in side chains with crown above, dividing the value and date below. We flip it over, and on this side, uh, we see Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II. Interestingly, though, uh, she's wearing a wreath instead of a crown. Uh, so it's a wreathed uh, portrait of Queen Elizabeth II facing the right. This particular series of three pence coin was made from 54 until 1970. Uh, as I said, its metal content is nickel brass. It's pretty hefty as far as the weight. It has, weighs 6.8 grams, 21.8 millimeters, and has a thick a diameter of 28.1, 21.8, excuse me, thickness 2.7. Its shape makes it a little bit different than most of the coins you're probably used to seeing. Is a Dodge Tagnagle <laughs> Dodge uh, shape to it. Now this one is dated 1956. In 56, there were 36.8 million of these produced. So there are a lot of them out there. However, these ones are pre-decimal days, so they don't really get you too far um, in today's society. All right, hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you're in co into coin collecting, please do check out some of the other videos on this channel. Th thank you very much and take care everyone. Best of luck coin collecting, enjoy.